Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode 17 of my NBA 2K14, my GM here with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I apologize, this video was supposed to come out yesterday, but uh, I just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to have two videos today and make up for it, this and a Red Sox video later in the day. And I might get some OTP out soon, we'll see. Um, I've been a little slow on that. I realize I've been really, really busy. Uh, I'm moving away to college in like a week, and uh, it's just... Uh, Busy, busy time right now. So, anyway, we're in the playoffs right now. We are the number seven seed. Actually, have I shown you the playoff bracket yet? I'm not sure I have. But Zach Levine wins Rookie of the Year, so that was pretty big for our team. Um, and here you can see, I think I'm going to show you the playoff tree right here. We are the number seven seed taking on the number two New Orleans Pelicans. So, after a really bad sort of middle part of the season, um, we fell all the way back. I think we even fell out of the playoffs at one point. But we climbed back up to the seven, and now we're taking on the Pelicans, one of the best teams in the NBA a uh, team that we faced twice now in this series, once this season, one, once last season. And um, last season, they were a pretty good team. Definitely still sort of developing. They weren't quite to their peak yet. They had Andrew Wiggins coming off the bench, who was sort of this young, budding star. Um, but this year, it makes a huge impact in the team. Him and Anthony Davis are definitely their two impact players. They have, uh, actually, I don't think Tyree Kevins plays this game, but they have Eric Gordon and Drew Holiday, along with Anderson Verichow. And, um... They're both good players. I, I wouldn't say they change the or they change the uh, the flow of the game or the, you know the, I I'd say the two really big impact players, the two guys we really got to watch out for and neutralize and and try to take out of this game almost are Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Davis. So watch out for them. They're both in the starting lineup tonight. Drew Holiday though gets things started with the little fadeaway that would actually uh, be the fourth point of the game scored by them. So four to three now, eight to seven the score. Andrew Wiggins dishing it off to Drew Holiday down low, little layup right there. And you know, like I said, Holiday good player, but Wiggins creates that with his speed and athleticism running the break. So here we go, pick and roll with Al Horford and Al Horford, who really came on in the second half of the season. His guy struggled to play with a little bit in the first half, but he's really turned into our veteran leader on this team, a guy we can go to for. You know, pretty high efficiency or high uh, or good shot selection, post shots, whatever you want to call it, high efficiency shots and the post, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Zach Levine layup over Anthony Davis. Here. It's not something you should get used to because Anthony Davis is a force defensively. But Kawhi Leonard dunking on Andrew Wiggins there with the one-handed slam with the left hand. Too underrated part of that was with the left. But uh, anyway. 17-16 here, both teams sort of hanging around, close game so far, tip play right here by, I think that's Wesley Hammonds, and he ends up getting the and one, he's like the third big man for this team, he's pretty effective off the bench, can do some things on the boards and stuff, Austin Rivers in the game, he gets blocked, layup no good, there's Hammonds again though, and that's usually a sign of when, our th of when things are going right or things are going bad, is how we're rebounding, and uh, in that first quarter we did get out rebounded a little bit, especially on the uh, offensive boards for the Pelicans, but we get lucky there, they foul Patty Mills with like .5 seconds left in the quarter so you get two free points basically and that's going to cut it down to 27 to 22 and that would be the score at the end of one so the pelicans on top by five solid quarter all around definitely you know got to improve a little bit but being down by five nothing to uh nothing to be mad at so anderson verichow again offensive boards there rivers doesn't get the layup but a lot of the time that happens when our help our help defenders come out and no one goes down to box out the big man here's a nice driving kick though horford three in the corner that's right al horford i um I didn't really realize that. I thought that was Kawhi Leonard for a little bit and just decided to shoot it anyway because sometimes those guys who can hit like 18 footers can hit corner threes because it's only like three more feet out. So anyway, Levine here giving it to Marco Bellinelli. Bellinelli splashing home that three and we cut the lead back down to 234, 232. And now here's Bellinelli again running the break, trying to uh, get something open. I don't usually let Bellinelli dribble, but he actually gets it to Shabazz Muhammad, who gets the layup over Anthony Davis. So Shabazz Muhammad, you'll see this um, throughout the series, actually was a pretty big difference maker off the bench. He had some really big moments this series. So Kawhi Leonard one-handed slam, and we've actually uh, gone on a little bit of a run here. I think that's an 11-0 run that makes it 40-34. to We've taken the lead here over the Pelicans, and uh, up by 6 now, 450 to play in the second. Drew Holiday with the ball coming back down. Exum tries to pick him up with the alley-oop. That's that alley-oop stuff that is so frustrating because it's pretty much impossible to defend. You have to not get lucky, but you have to react really quickly, control your big man, and try to deflect the pass, which is just not very easy to do. Um, and I almost sometimes play this game like subconsciously, so I just don't react that quickly to things because I play a lot of 2K, and uh, sometimes I just sort of zone out for a little bit while playing. But anyway, Kawhi Leonard down low to Rodney Hood, and Rodney Hood with the contact finish. He's another guy that... Uh, had some good, good moments this series for us. So, 54-43 now. We still uh, open up a nice lead here. Nice little layup right there, though, from Drew Holiday. Cuts it back down. And actually, it would be a six-point game heading into the half. So, we do 
outscored them by 11 that quarter. A nice little 11 point turnaround, but they came back a little bit at the end. I think they ended on like a 5 0 run or something like that. So they get the lead back down to 6, and it's going to be 54 to 48 at the half. Minnesota on top playing some great basketball right now. Our defense really stepped it up that quarter, and our offense continued to play pretty well. I think we scored 32 points that quarter. So. Anyway, Eric Gordon for three, and he's going to knock that down. Great pass by Anthony Davis. Cross court, finding the open man, Gordon. Here's Dante Exum on the other hand, who really had a bad game, but he finds Zach Levine there for three, and Levine knocks down that one. So 57 to 53 back on top. Actually, we were always on top, but they cut it down to one at one point. Now, still a four-point game. Levine down low to Kawhi Leonard, and Kawhi Leonard was just showing out at this point. He is so nasty in transition, getting dunks like no other, like not many other people can. But Drew Holiday and one layup. Trying to keep his team in the game. Showing out a little bit here, but that nice pass to Andrew Wiggins. Sweet block, but they actually get the rebound. Aminu out to Andrew Wiggins, and then I reach there and just get burnt for it. Andrew Wiggins posterizing my big man. So, three-point game now. Larry Sanders with the ball covered by Anthony Davis. I give it down low to Fry, and nice little two-man big man game right there. The uh, Fry's defender ends up helping out, and just a, almost like a, a driving dish in a sense, but... Anyway, Aminu with the layup right there. Aminu was re-signed by the Pelicans in this game. Unlike in real life, I believe he signed with the Mavericks. 71-269. Gorgie Jang now. Great two-man game again. It was almost like a little pick and roll with Bellinelli. And Fry finds him, or, uh, excuse me, Jang finds himself open, driving, and then uh, dishing it off to Fry, who's helped defender had to come over. But there's the alley-oop stuff again. This time, Anthony Davis. Davis and Wiggins are just so athletic. It's uh, really hard to defend that stuff, but... We end off the quarter up by three still, so they had scores by two that time. But still we have a three-point lead, and we were playing really good basketball right now. And I sort of felt this way, um, especially after, I think, that last regular season game. We're just really playing our best basketball right now, and that's really exciting because we're going to have to play our best basketball to beat these teams. We're playing the number two seed in the playoffs. So, And one from Al Horva right there. And when Ryan Anderson comes into the game, and he does this in the, a lot in the fourth quarter, um, when Anderson comes into the game and covers Al Horford, uh... I'm going to take advantage of that because Ryan Anderson can't defend Al Horford. No, he just can't. So, little hook shot right there. We go back up by 6. Now 84 to 78. Drew Holiday with the ball. He's going to give it off to Eric Gordon, who's been going to be alley-ooping this one up to Andrew Wiggins for the reverse slam. The indefendable reverse alley-oop dunk. And now Dante Exum for 3. That's good. That would only be Dante Exum's second field goal of the game, I believe. He was 2 of 12 at that point. But uh, Kawhi Leonard with the ball, dishing it down low. Horford running the break when Horford runs the break. That is really, really good because he is a great finisher around the rim. And he can actually get up there and play above the rim a little bit. But Anthony Davis to Eric Gordon in the corner. Good stop by Exum. But right back to Davis. And look at the poster. Anthony Davis is such a force in this game. He is so good. It's, <laughs> he can just blow right by my big man. But here's a nice little driving dish to Kawhi for three. And Leonard knocks that one down. So we're hitting our shots right now, which is really big because we're going up by nine. And now Dante Exum on the break with the slam. And we go up by 11. So here we're going on a little bit of a run here. Take a look at the beautiful pass. Gordon didn't know where he was going. He had his head turned. And a beautiful dunk by Dante Exum that we forced to miss at the rim. Horford on the rebound. Out to Leonard. Leonard alley-oops it for Dante Exum. And we're up by 15 points. This one has been blown open. Kawhi Leonard now with the ball. Driving it all the way to the hoop. Take a look at the athleticism. He actually misses that though. But still, I love the Kawhi Leonard athleticism. He is so good at controlling his body when he's in the air. Anyway, Larry Sanders offensive rebound. We go back up by 17. Now Leonard with the ball up by 19. Gives it off to Horford. And that would make it a 21-point game with just over 90 seconds to play at this point. So this one has been blown open. And it's safe to say we are going to take home the Game 1 victory. An upset here in Game 1 from New Orleans. From the, uh, what's this place called? The, the Didn't it used to be like the Smoothie Center? They had like a smoothie sponsorship. I don't know what, what it was, but... Levine ends up uh, getting the lucky bounce right there and gets on the three. So we would win 110 to 91, a 19 point blowout victory in game one. Very surprising on New Orleans' home floor in the first playoff game for the Minnesota Timberwolves in 12 years, because this would be 2016. Yeah, because they haven't made the playoffs in 2004. So, anyway, big, big win. Really excited about how we played. Um, and like I said, I think we're just playing our best basketball right now, which is something you. You know, it's sort of a football cliche like you. Because a lot of the times in basketball, the best team's going to win. No matter what, team with the best player is usually going to win. You don't see a lot of 1A, 2-7 upsets or anything like that. In football, a lot of the time, the cliche is play your best football in December, and that momentum carries over into January. And, you know, that's why you see six seeds win the Super Bowl a lot of the time now. But and basketball doesn't really work like that. But I almost feel like we're playing our best basketball right now, and we are talented enough to compete with some of these teams. So... 
I don't know. We'll see if we can hold up over a seven game series. I mean, that's a whole nother ordeal. Beating a team once is a lot harder or a lot easier than beating a team four times out of seven, especially when the team is as good as this New Orleans team. So we'll see if we can do it. But take a look at the box score. Here is the uh, Pelicans scores as well. And the big thing, holding Wiggins and Holiday to pretty inefficient days. And then we kept Davis in check on offense. He only had nine points. I think a lot of them came off offensive rebounds. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy. And you can see Eric Gordon's nice one for 13 shooting day. And it doesn't matter. Peace.